to be numbers since I want five. Maybe I'll come up here. No, I'll actually I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna type one. I'm gonna come over here and type two and so forth. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one blank for now. I'm gonna come up the top here and maybe I wanna list out my favorite fruit. I'm gonna type in here, meat, color, sports, Maybe animal. Maybe my favorite month of the year. And obviously you could fill in here. Maybe I've got a favorite day of the week. Okay. All right. What I could do now is I could select the top here and I could give it a background color. Given the table a background color, I can come down here and change the alignment to center. Okay. And I really can't use this alignment tool just yet because of how my table looks. Actually, I can. I can actually come down here and expand it. Now, if I come back here, the vertical alignment is the default, which is the center, but I could change it to the top, back to the middle bottom and so forth. Okay, I'm going to take it back to the middle. Maybe I'll go ahead and give these cells, I'm just selecting them and I'm holding on my mouse and I'm pulling across the table. And I'll go ahead and maybe do a lighter color. Okay, I'll go ahead and fill in the table. I'm going to fill it in, probably pause and come back with it's all filled in. But at this time, you can go ahead and list out your favorite fruits, like um, an apple, for instance. Okay, I've got my table filled out. I could come up here and I could pull these cells and I can change the size. I could even come here and change the height of these as well. I'm going to go ahead and preview in the web right now so we can take a look. Okay, again, it looks like a table that you might expect to see in like Word. I'll go ahead and make some changes. I'll come down here, select the edge again, and I'm going to get rid of the border again and increase the cell padding maybe to 10. Okay, and I'll go ahead and preview again. Definitely these days we do need to see the borders. The table um, is a little bit harder to figure out without it. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver, select the edge, and go ahead and put that border back in. Okay, besides putting text, I spelled that wrong, I can also put a table in a table, meaning I could come down here, or I could, it doesn't really where, matter where I go, I'll just, I'll come over here, and I'll go insert table, maybe I'll do one that's smaller, four rows by two columns, and maybe I'll make it 200, and say okay. So I've got a table in a table. I'm not sure why you might want to do that. Maybe maybe you're doing, instead of doing a, a table about your favorite thing, maybe you're doing stats or something like that. Maybe you're doing about baseball players and their, their runs and their hits and their outs, or I guess that would be a pitcher. But, you know, 
stats, batting average and that sort of thing. Um, you can also put images in a cell. I'll just go ahead and type in here. Okay, I'm just going to pick another cell. I'll just come down here and use this one since it's empty. And I'm going to go insert image. My images folder and I'm going to pick a fairly small one. Maybe I'll use the earth here and open it. Okay, now you can use tables in your layout. You could insert a table in a div. And a lot of times I'll see students that think that this is a good way for maybe displaying some of their artwork, and it could be. I mean, that's one reason you could use it, a table these days. Maybe you're putting, you know, portfolio pieces in here. Um, you, I mean, you can do all sorts of things. Um, I, what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of that. I'm just selecting and deleting. Uh, and again, the biggest problem with tables were the shifting, okay? And it's hard to get all the columns the same width if you just go in here and randomly and pull. But I could come over here. And since that word is green, I give it a background color of green. This one, I'll select this cell by clicking in it, and I'll do yellow and so forth. You are required in the next exercise to put background colors in your cell, so that's why I'm going through this. I'm on brown. Now you can use style sheets to also stylize your table. We're not going to go into that much complexity with this, but you could you could go ahead and make a selector for your table tag. Oh, that's actually something we should look at. Another good reason for not using tables these days is look at all the code that's generated with this um, table tag, table body tag, and then you've got the width and height here, and then you've got TR for table row, TR for table row, TR for table row, and so forth. TD stands for table data. So I've selected this one, I can see that color is highlighted, but it's a crazy amount of code that gets generated with a table. All right, what else you could do is you could select all the bottom cells. You could go under the edit menu under table and you could also merge your cells that way. Oops, I keep missing it. Table, merge cells. You could delete a row. I could go ahead and delete that row and it disappears. I could go edit table again. I've got some new options. I could now insert a row, okay? All right, I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna click down here, oh, grapples. I'm gonna come down here and go edit, table. Look at all the different options I have here. I could insert a row again. Okay, now it puts it above the one that I had selected. So keep that in mind as you're doing it. I'm going to go ahead and select these two rows and I'm going to go edit, table, delete rows. I'm going to go ahead and preview again. Okay. Again, if you select the edge of the table, oops, I closed my property palette. Okay, you're gonna get the table properties and again, you could select a row. You could come down here and change the vertical alignment. Okay, and I could do center, so it's centering the text. It's a little bit hard to see because my cells are a little bit small. Go ahead and select over here. 
middle again. That's middle on the alignment. I could shift it up to the top. Again, my cells are just a little bit, it's at the top here, a little bit small, so it's a little bit harder to see. And I could do bottom. Okay, that's actually it about tables. Now for the next exercise, what you're going to do is I'm giving you a design. You're going to put your cursor in the section where you're supposed to add the table and you'll be going insert table, okay? This will come up and you can insert. So this one actually inserted the table where my cursor was. If I wanted one at the bottom, I'd actually go to the end of this table. I'm actually going to put my cursor right after that. I'm actually down here. So I found the end of the table tag and I could go insert table and OK. So it puts it after the last table. Now tables used today are again for, for tabular data, certainly not for the complex things we used to do with tables in the past.